<laughs> you and me too. And it's time to find out what life's like for him in the pilot seat. I love flying. One day I want to be a pilot. When I was 15, I flew on my own for the first time ever, and I've never looked back. I've flown over 100 hours in total, and it's my dream to be a gliding world champion. Gliding is flying an aircraft in the air without an engine, sometimes thousands of feet above the ground. Sounds impossible, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's all about airflow, and there are three types that help gliders fly. Thermals. Thermals are columns of rising air created by the heating of the Earth's surface. As the sun heats the ground, and the ground then radiates the heat into the air, this creates lift and can get the aircraft really high in the sky. Ridge lift. Ridge lift is when wind is whipped around the hills and mountains. This doesn't get you as high as thermal, but it can keep you in the air for a long time. Wave lift. Quite similar to ridge lift, wave lift is created when air moves over the top of a hill or mountain. Wave lift gets you higher than a ridge lift. So, now we know how gliders stay in the air, but before I tell you how we get them in the air, let me answer some of your questions. Jay Piper Cherry says, what inspires you to start gliding? My, my parents are both pilots, um, and from the moment I first stepped foot in a glider and had my first flight, I was instantly hooked on it, and I wanted to learn how to fly. <laughs> how many years did it take you to train? Uh, I started when I was 12. Um, when I came up here, I was kindly offered a place on the cadet scheme. This offers me free flying to help around the airfield. Um, I drive the winch, I help in the log box, I help retrieve gliders, and that all helps towards my flying. Jet Curious 200 Caster says, do you ever get nervous when you're airborne? Uh, the answer, I get nervous every time I go flying. Uh, the time when you don't get nervous before you launch is the time you've got to worry about what you're doing, because you won't be as alert, you won't be ready for anything that could come to you. Austin Dotty, Dotty Hawk says, what advice would you give if I wanted to learn how to fly a glider? Um, I'd say, go and find your local club, see if they've got a cadet scheme, go and have a trial lesson, see if you like it first, even though you don't get sick, uh, and then come down, and if you liked it, join the club and, uh, and start to learn from there. So we know how gliders work, but first we have to get them up there. There are two ways of doing this. Aerotone is a rope connected to a regular plane. When at the right altitude, the glider pilot releases the cable and is free to glide on their own. Winching is a long cable run out along the length of the field. At the other end of this cable, there'll be a hook which attaches to the other side of the glider. When the glider's at the top of the launch, the glider pilot will release the cable and is then free to fly on its own. Before I attempt to take off, I have to check the weather charts I have to check the aircraft is alright and safe to fly. Looks good. Now I need to attach the winch cable and take to the sky. I still get excited now about flying like I did the first time I went. I'll see you guys up there. Okay, I'm going up the wire now. About a 45 degree angle. I'm at 55 knots. We release the cable and we're now completely gliding. <laughs> you really can't beat that feeling. I love being in the air and I love gliding. Hopefully this won't be the last time I see you. Who knows, one day I might be flying you on your holiday. This is your pilot, Alex Harris, speaking. See you soon. How cool is that?